jump on it. All right, so I don't know if you guys knew, but this No, week, I didn't know. Yeah, okay, well, I'm telling you. <laughs> All <okay>. right. <laughs> All right, this week, uh, actually yesterday and Thursday, Burt Reynolds was auctioning off uh, several items. It's 700 and 676 to be exact from his own personal collection in Las Vegas. I don't even have that many like follicles of hair. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. <laughs> um and supposedly he swears he's not doing it because he's broke. Um because you know, otherwise wouldn't he be making like cop and a half too? Like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna help you. Re- that's not gonna help going you out of here. Same thing like Nicolas Cage does and just takes every movie possible now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just or, give them to me. Would that be like cop three quarters? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That was like my favorite movie. Um, <laughs> boo. Yeah, boo. Hiss. Um, Although we do need another Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was just going to say, one of the things he was auctioning off was uh, the Pontiac Trans Am Coupe from Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, come. No, he's got to be broke. Right? No, I mean, there's, there's. if you go through, I literally went through the, the list. It was online. The brochure. It's I forget the website, but uh, there's some ridiculous things God, on there. Getting rid of the Trans Am, man, Bert. Yep, yep. You know another one of the items he's getting rid of is is his American Express card. What? <laughs> Which um, how could he? It says void on the front and <laughs> an, oh, b- written well, by an good. unknown person. It, it just said on there uh, written void written by unknown. And you know what I would say, if if he's claiming not to be broke and just wants to get rid of these things, you know, taking up so much space, why why an Amex, you know? That, that doesn't well, take that, up that, so much space. Cut it up with some scissors and throw yeah, it out. Yeah, but that's one of those things. That's that's a curio. Some some freak out there would want that, you know. Yeah, what, for like five dollars. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> this was going for it. Lo- they had suggested prices online, and the Amex is going for like a hundred to two hundred dollars. Wait, but is this like the actual card that's, he uses, or is this well, like yeah, the, doesn't use it anymore? Card, yeah. Well, yeah. Is that why he's getting rid of it? <laughs> yeah. Just go through his garbage, Jesus. Yes. Right. Well, I guess it w- it's. You know, it's signed by him on the back, so I don't know if that's the the appeal to it. Um, but well, I guess it w- it's whoa, whoa, what happened here? Whoa, you some wild feedback. Is there an echo in here? There was, and I can make it happen again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> <laughs> reverb. I like it. I think that's the actual live. Uh, so when you dump, that's how much time you got. Mm. Ah, no, enough with the Stop dumping, okay? dumping. We already <laughs> yeah, went through all this. well, I know. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I was, I was looking up looking up pictures of him just to see what he looks like nowadays. Birds? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that cheesy mustache. He's, uh, <laughs> it's, all, it's all white now, right? Yeah, 78 years old, still trying to look like a midnight cowboy. But, um, you know, but this, this got me thinking for some reason. I don't, I don't know what got you thinking about this, but... Uh, about celebrities who... It's not your natural curiosity, you think? Yeah, well, you know, it you know, doesn't come naturally, no. Um, celebrities who have aged well. None. Uh, None at all. No. Oh, that's not true. That's that is not, not true. true. Hey, you see, I, what do you see guys without think? their makeup and their glamour shots. Well, naturally, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but none of us are aging well. That's well, right. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm a super I'm stud. What do you mean? What, uh, <laughs> wait, are we... Are, Men, women, both, both. Is everything up for grabs? Both, yes. Uh, I don't know who's who's looking good. Um, you know, Angelica Houston still looks good. Who? <laughs> uh, Morticia Adams. That? She's probably dead well, by Morti- now. No, no, she's not. She's dead. not. <laughs> What's her name? Angelica Houston. That's Morticia Adams. Yes. And from the movie, yeah. No, from the TV show. No, no. I don't know who that is. I don't know her name. <laughs> Nuts. I think John Aston still looks the same though. Uh, is that uh, Gomez? That's Gomez from the show, yeah. Uh, okay. But who just died from that show? Oh, Pugsley. Lurch. Pugsley. Oh yeah, Pugsley. Yes. The hand did. <laughs> the hand. I'm pretty <laughs> sure Lurge da- died a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm sure. Um, but I was just like looking up some like celebrities who have aged well, and I was looking. Okay. Christy Brinkley is 60 years Ooh, old. Yeah. Really? Cindy Crawford. Wow. 
Yeah. Cindy Crawford yeah. still looks exactly the same as she did in the Pepsi commercials in 93. That's Where's, true. What about but Kathy she... Ireland? Oh, I don't yeah. care about Kathy yeah. Ireland. Doesn't she, she do some sort of, like, beauty serum uh, commercials now? I know Cindy Crawford does. Yeah. Yeah, and she honestly does look the same. Oh, I know. But it is like, you are, you're a freak. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you are That's freaks it. of nature. Uh, uh, Tom you freeze Cruise, your face every night, probably. Tom Cruise still looks good, but I mean, I don't know what Scientology is. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you sell your soul, you're not going to age. Yeah. It's like the picture of Dorian Gray. <laughs> That's true. But Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman's another one. She looks great. Well, but she's had a lot of she nips is. and tucks. She really? Yeah. Really? She, yeah. I don't know. So, she, she was so pretty, too. She, her just, nose has gotten gradually thinner. Well, maybe that's why I haven't <laughs> noticed it. Yeah. <laughs> She Michael Jackson to her nose, Yes. I guess. Yeah, but not all in one shot. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody it's will like, notice. It's like, I want that, but I don't want it to fall off. Okay, well, we'll just reduce it <laughs> over over a year or two. But I think my favorite, my, oh, uh, Patrick Dempsey. Because <laughs> I know, Dempsey. I know, groan all you want. but I, I will. <laughs> uh, I was not attracted to him uh, back in, like, the 80s when he was real popular. Um, but then when I saw him again, you know, Grey's Anatomy, actually, Sweet Home Alabama was when, like, I saw his <laughs> big comeback. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I got a lady boner. You know, oh, boy. But I am going to say... <laughs> I am going to say this. It's surprising to me. I mean, a celebrity should age well because they're not really working. You know what I mean? I mean <laughs> True, that's, to that's, have the stress. That's a pretty gravy life. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. You or know. they have the, the money to, to stop stress, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I mean, playing devil's advocate. I mean, I took a. a hey, that's my class. job. You can't do that. <laughs> Whatever. Well, fine. <laughs> right, I'll stop talking. <laughs> Shut up, Trevor. Yeah. Jesus, Dead Trevor. Air. Shut Dead up, air. Trevor. <laughs> Don't make me tell you to shut up again because I'm through it. <laughs> All but right. Anyways. Go ahead. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, Thanks, Tim. Oh, God. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess on the flip side, uh, celebrities who haven't aged well. I mean, there's. I think there's more of them than celebrities. You know who I saw a picture of earlier tonight? That that you know that ties right into that. You guys remember Saved by the Bell? No. No. <laughs> you don't remember Saved by the Bell? What, what is wrong with yeah. you? I do. I do. Okay. Lisa. Lisa Tuttle. Lisa Turtle. 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 Yes. Yes. That oh my that God. chick completely butchered her face, yes. man. Yes. I totally agree. She looks really? like. She, yeah. She looks like she kind of just like. Lifted the skin and like jammed like cotton balls underneath. <laughs> yes. So wait, she Renee Zellweger her face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah like Renee they Zellweger. traded. Wait, wait. The jury's places. still out on Renee. Nobody's confirmed she that she's had. Doesn't look that bad. But she she lost her roles. Yeah, most but likely. she didn't look very good to begin with. So yeah, you know, that's true. That that that. that, that you but know, she got roles based off of her like her pudgy face. You know that lemon sucker face yeah. of hers. That, yeah. that, that, <laughs> that didn't do it for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she did have that puckered, tiny eye look. <laughs> you guys can't see us making the face, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, you know, Bruce Jenner is... <laughs> Jenner? I, not only not aging well, I don't think he's decided what gender he is. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's crossing the streams there. <laughs> that guy, yeah, that guy, could, that guy shouldn't stand next to an open flame. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, and also... I was looking this up. Macaulay Culkin. I mean, you know, we've all we've all seen him since he kind of came back from being a child star, and yeah, it looked a little bit different. But I mean, oh, he got he looked like he got run over by the ugly truck. Well, I think he was a heroin addict for a few years. Was he really? Yeah, yeah. That's, well, what, that's what they he said. He got Mila Kunis. How does that happen? Macaulay Culkin. I, yes, they dated thought, for yeah, seven years. Yeah, but um, that's that that. It's nothing compared to the fact that Jerry O'Connell got Rebecca Romaine. Oh, man. come on. Jerry O'Connell is hot. I'm Jerry O'Connell's a dork. No, I love dorks, though. But we're talking he is about hot. Jumper or whatever that show he was in. Well, I, uh, Dumper? Jumper. <laughs> J U M P. Jumper. I don't so, I'm sorry. I, 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 did show you, was did that? you say no. Dumper? <laughs> 
No. Or what, what's it, wasn't didn't he have that kid show <laughs> that like my that secret color. identity? <laughs> That's yeah. He was, yeah. <laughs> my, my secret identity. Or like some scientist lived in his fridge in the basement or something. <laughs> what? I'm unfamiliar. Please explain. It's a uh, man. It was on for like two years when I was How like eight. How do you eight. live in a fridge in a basement? <laughs> because it's an, it was an '80s TV show. Yeah. I live in a fridge in a basement. <laughs> they were completely based on reality. <laughs> <laughs> was that when he was still pudgy? I believe, yeah, that was like right directly after you know what? Stand By Me. He was in an awesome movie that I'm going to admit to seeing. It was called uh, Why Buy the Cow. And it had uh, Gary, Gary Busey's kid, James Busey, I think. Jake Busey? Jake, Jake Busey, Busey. Yeah. yeah. And it was, uh, his buddy was getting married. And oh, yes. No, I don't think that was the name of it. Wasn't it like Tomcats or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they took like the Viagra and the champagne. Yes. Yeah, dude. It was a hilarious <laughs> that movie. That is an underrated movie. <laughs> I hilarious. agree with you there. That's the, that's kind of a raunchy movie. That's not something to be ashamed of watching no, as a guy. But he should have done more movies like that rather than I'm going to try to be on, what was it, Grey's Anatomy? What he TV show did you just say he was on? He, he wasn't on that. I didn't. That you was said Patrick he was on a Dempsey. TV. Oh, that dork. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. He was only in one good movie oh, in his life. Too. Can't buy me love. Yeah. Uh, no, he was in some movie about being a, a sleeping with some older woman. And I think that can't was buy Can't Buy Me, me love. love, the pizza no. delivery man. No. No. Extra anchovies. No. Are you just talking about an episode? He tried to do like... an action movie called Run, which was awful. Okay. Most action, most action movies are. Yes, well, I agree. with Patrick Dempsey, well, anything with Patrick <laughs> breakfast with Patrick Dempsey would be awful. I would have Patrick. Oh, I mean, I would have <laughs> you would have, you would have, have him for breakfast. <laughs> yes, I, I would. Have that guy. Yes, I think please. That's where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> I eat Patrick Dempsey for breakfast. <laughs> well, you got. I guess you got to start your day with protein. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it took a minute to say oh. yeah, right? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little oh. beside myself. I'm a little Ooh. overclimbed. Ooh. Here. Banner over here. <laughs> cool your jets. Cool your jets. Well, yes. actually, um, going back to the the celebrities that haven't aged well, I just watched uh, uh, what's it called? The Expendables. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> oh, much. my God. Pretty much the entire <laughs> cast. Exactly. Exactly. The, the Bunch entire of cast. Mm -hmm. you know, they... Well, Jet Li's awesome. Yeah. Oh, and oh, so yeah. is Jason Statham. Yeah, Jason Statham's awesome, too. Yeah, Transporter, just, man. Schwarzenegger, what is up with his face? He's in the new Terminator movie. Where I don't like, understand why he, he... What are you doing? How could he be a 600-year-old <laughs> Terminator? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like it. Well, they they brought him on to the last uh, Terminator, and, you know, he was, like, CG'd up like crazy. So. Ugh. I, I haven't yeah. watched any and Terminator. And naked, which made it even worse. So. I haven't watched any Terminator <laughs> since T2. Yeah, same here. And that one was bad. Oh, uh, what? You didn't no. like T2? No. Or what that is... That whiny little brat kid, whatever his name was. God, George Terminator Brown. 1 sucked. T2, man, that is classic. Yes, T1 I agree. is uh, the better film. No, it isn't. Yes. It, no, for it sure it is. isn't. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this Bruckheimer over the top nonsense. Mm -hmm. Linda Ham and Linda <laughs> Hamilton, man. Wow. What you know about that? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I really like T.I., though. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then there's Zoe. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, you're pretty. I'm on my own wavelength. <laughs> That's why you guys put me in the corner. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's exactly why we put you in the corner. Now turn around and put the cap on. <laughs> Tired of seeing your face. <laughs> I was like, why is that bag off again? <laughs> uh, yeah, how about Axl Rose? I mean, oh my god. <laughs> every part of that man's fiber is falling off. Yes, and, and including his brain. <laughs> no, I mean he's go he's like nuts. He's rocking the cornrows besides, though. Yeah, besides being he... bipolar, I mean he's just crazy. Every, the whole band hates him, right? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole band hates him. <laughs> well, you oh, know really? what, what band? Because there has been like 18 Guns versions. Yeah, and none of them have done anything okay. since he kicked Slash out of the band. Yeah. And well, you know, I'm and a that's, Slash fan. I, yeah, so am I. And you know what? That's the thing. And and Guns N' Roses, wow. I mean, it, it, I can't... You're hard-pressed to not put them in the top 10 of like best bands of yeah. all time. And yeah, Appetite absolutely. for Destruction may be the best rock album ever made. And so okay. what does the guy do? He fires Slash, not face-to-face. -face. Slash finds out about it by watching MTV News. Mm -hmm. 
the rest of the band just peters out after that. And, you said Peter. <laughs> and and now he's stuck with like trying to get like a Vegas lounge act together with this, with, you know, like a like a Vegas Guns N' Roses show. And I mean, that's a band that could have kept going. Yeah. Well, then, well, Slash had what was it about it ten years ago? What was it? Velvet Revolver. Uh, yeah, Velvet Revolver, and then Which he had the Slash of Snake Pit before that. Yeah, okay. but the Velvet Revolver had the singer from uh, Scott Weiland. Yeah, we- yeah. Uh, Whelan Weiland. I never I uh, liked, pronounced that. I liked them. They had a couple of good songs. I mean, it wasn't anything like earth shattering, but it was you know good background music. But see, I never thought that much of STP either in the nineties. Yeah, you know what me I mean? Either, they were, yeah. I mean, they were good, but it was like they were good, but it's like so what? You know what I mean? Right, right. Like I don't get why everybody is making this right. huge deal. Well, it's a band I could compare that to right now is the Black Keys. You know, yeah. I mean, like, hey, that's racist. I, you can't say that. Ooh. Why not? I like the White Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's another band. They're, they're, I like the Black Peas. Yep. Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> I, like, oh, my I like Black Christ. Peas. Fergie, man, Jesus. Now that chick <laughs> yeah. looks like a washed up stripper. Yes. Well, she used to be what, like a crackhead or something too? Some she sort of used addict. Used to be shit. <laughs> or a meth addict? I don't know. Shoot, I don't want to make up stuff about these How people. How does but she get Josh should. Demo? I don't know who he is. <laughs> that, that's what that's how. <laughs> Nobody knew who he was. I, don't know. I, I don't know. knew who he was. How do you know who he is? I ate bre- I ate yeah. him for breakfast. <laughs> Doesn't he do Man, one of the? You, you is, have a big breakfast, yeah, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> Josh Demel, <laughs> Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> I like breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Yeah. Do you take naps after these things too? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, where's me out? I need to take a nap after breakfast. <laughs> But <laughs> anyways, let's, well, talk, let's, l- let's talk about Mickey Rourke. Yes, <laughs> oh, yes, that no. is another one. Oh, jeez, I don't think that's even like, you know, like he someone was having past too. Surgery. Yes. No, he just had his face bashed in because after he left Hollywood in the late '80s, he decided to try to be a boxer. He just won his first boxing match. Uh, yeah, and it turns out month. that that guy threw the fight. Really, did he? Yeah. Because I was gonna say, I mean, <laughs> Mickey Rourke's like 63. This guy was in his 20s. And he just totally butchered him. Yeah, I, you could tell by just watching the fight. I didn't it, watch it. Uh, yeah, it was only like two rounds, and the guy was like, wasn't trying hard enough <laughs> to be in a ring with a 60-year-old guy. <laughs> Maybe well, he didn't want to kill him. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. If he hit him once. see the, um, the movie The Wrestler? Oh, yes. G- great movie. It's a great movie, yeah. I yeah. think that's the best Aronofsky movie. Uh, it's debatable. Well. I mean, I know Requiem for the Dreams, the, you know, standard bear, the classic, you know what Pie I mean? Pie was an amazing Pie movie. was good, too, man, when he jammed that drill. Yeah, Whoa, dude. wow. That's, uh... They're lost. He's made some of the most memorable films The girls are lost. Time. I'm lost. You guys are creepy. Uh, well, I was telling, uh, Black Swan. Black Swan's a really good movie, yeah. too, man. Oh, you, yeah. you gotta check that, that one out. I've yet to check that out, but it, that's on my list. I got Guardians of the Galaxy at home. Uh, why? What? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, like, how... It was okay. Yeah, but you're not a comic nerd. Chris Pratt's really hot too, so yeah. <laughs> so so you have eye candy. That, that's yeah. broad. That's you, brunch. Yeah. That, that's, that's brunch, brunch. for both. Yes. <laughs> I am so jealous of your brunch right now. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll share. <laughs> okay, great. She's got enough We're, to go around. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be a fight later, like those crazy twins. Enough though. to feed the needy. <laughs> I'll be I'll be creamer. <laughs> creamer and creamer. You can be twin. I'll be Creamer, yeah, I'll, I'll twin. just be twin. You, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> However it works. Wait, who wins though? I don't remember now. I always win. Oh shit. Everybody's a loser nope. in that story. <laughs> you know what? That's it. No. <laughs> what happened? I didn't we're, say anything. <laughs> what did I miss a dump I was supposed to press? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh well. That's it. And I know what I'm bringing for you next week, Zoe. I said chivalry. Spit. Spit. Spin on it. Yeah. I'm over here still <laughs> trying to work on the audio. It's, just, it's baffling. Uh, give it up. Yeah, give join, it join up. The conver- join the conversation. We're good. I got nothing to say about Chris Pratt or Patrick Duffy that isn't hate. Patrick <laughs> Duffy. Hate. Patrick Duffy. Hate. <laughs> Dude, you are afforded the opportunity to rage to the I'd world. I'd rather not waste the energy on guys <laughs> I don't give a shit. I can see your face, I can see your face <laughs> getting red now. I didn't say it. <laughs> I didn't say it. That's Patrick so Duffy. False. Duffy. Step by step. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Patrick Duffy. Wasn't it, wasn't that man bear pig from South Park? He had Patrick Duffy for a leg. Yeah. And a celery stalk or something, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the, yeah. Look, guys, I'm super cereal. <laughs> yeah. The, Come on, guys. The gal. <laughs> oh, that was Al Gore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys, I'm super cereal. 
I'm cereal now. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to play some clips from South Park. Can't do <laughs> that either. <laughs> I got another story. I know a bunch by heart. Ooh, more stories. I like stories. <laughs> well, I mean, just a quick Read one. Read me a story. Just a quick one, just because, you know, football's still going strong Boo. for those of us who are playing fantasy football. Yeah, that's the only reason you watch. No. Yeah. Okay. Some of them are hot Maybe. and some of them have weird tattoos okay, on their faces. Okay, if, if you I watch football, what's Tampa Bay's record right now? Oh, I can't. Oh, bad. Bad. Very, very relevant. Yeah, bad, but give me a number. <laughs> Uh, Five. Two and 12. He just wanted oh, a number. That's a good guess. <laughs> don't overcomplicate things. He just wanted a number. Was I right? Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't even watch football. And I know this garbage. I still watch the talking head shows on uh, ESPN. I like watching the highlights of people getting their arms broken. Or, yeah, that's always know, fun. Ew. People fighting in the stands. Well, you. I mean, look, I, I don't care what anybody says. Football is a blatant blood sport. It that's, is. It was, that's basically. They played with yeah. leather helmets and no shoulder pads yeah. long ago. And they, and they should let them do that again. Not only that, they had the goal the goal post in the front of the end zone. Not yeah, you might back. run right into it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's, yeah, make it a little risky. But now everybody's got to wear, like, feather boas and play with a balloon <laughs> and stuff. What? What sport are you watching? It's That's like the Nancy boys. Sarcastic ball. Someone didn't explain football to you, obviously. <laughs> Hydraulic shoulder pads. <laughs> yeah. Now they yeah. got to air cushion yeah. helmets. Yeah. You play like. There's got to be a five star <laughs> safety rating <laughs> on your, <laughs> your jock strap. That's Panky Panky. Panky. No, it was Sarcastic ball from South Park. Uh, okay. Where okay. everybody had to be nice Wrong and game, say sorry. pleasantries. Panky oh, Panky. <laughs> Aluminum like foil right helmets and balloons. Well, all right, go ahead with your story about uh, yeah. jerky jocks. In jerky the NFL. jocks? Okay, yes. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard, but on Tuesday. I can assure you I did not. <laughs> I may have. I may have. <laughs> uh, Cam Newton, who, if you're not um, savvy with sports, Tim. He's a, he's a pitcher for the Cubs, right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Oh. He was in a car accident, a two car accident uh, <laughs> near the team stadium. I think it was He was driving two cars at once? Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. He's a, yeah, he is impressive. Uh, it was either to or from practice. Uh <laughs> Driving two cars at once is going yeah. you're, you're yeah. to When you're a professional yeah. athlete, you can get away with anything. Was he using yeah. a broom like to, to steer the other car? Like well, then I got this. <laughs> like Mr. Bean, he, yeah. had the, he had the recliner on the top of his now car. Now, that, that was a good comedy sketch right there, yeah. man. That, all of his this. stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Agreed. Agreed. Anyway, uh, according to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, Newton faces no charges and was traveling at the posted 35 miles per hour when the other driver pulled out in front of him. So apparently it was the other driver's fault. Mm-hmm. His truck landed on its side. I'm not sure if you guys saw the picture. I mean, it, it looked pretty nasty. Uh, flattened the roof. Um, Cameron, Ca- Cameron. I don't yeah, even know it. if that's his full name, but it Cam Newton. Um, it, he got two transverse process fractures in his lower back. I'm not sure what exactly that means. I'm not a doctor. Yo, back Even though I, I <laughs> eat one for breakfast. Um, <laughs> yeah, yo, um, but he went to the hospital. You also fit a doctor in for your breakfast? Yeah. Grey's Anatomy. Who do you think Patrick prescribes Tenzin. this stuff to her? Mick Dreamy. Oh. Yeah. If you only need... I could put two and two together I'm with Patrick Duffy. I'm going to prescribe you two men for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and one, yeah, one Patrick Duffy every morning, please. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Anyway, he went to the hospital, was released 20 hours later. Um, he told reporters at a press conference on Thursday that he considered himself fortunate to only have the two fractures. Quote, I just can't stop smiling because God has his hands on me. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm yeah, a- where are they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on somebody's fantasy league team, and I think it's the man upstairs, end quote. You know what? Oh. I-, I hear that story, and I hear Cam Newton say that, and it riles me up because my, my story is way better than that. And to hear it, you know God was on my side. You're so. not on my fantasy team. It, oh, I'm not. <laughs> and you know what? You would think if he was on uh, God's fantasy team that he'd be doing a lot better. 
you think? Well, I mean, God's on everybody's <laughs> side in the NFL, so he's only got so much to go around, that's right? That's true. That's true. Tim no, Tebow. Just um, Something about Cam Newton, though. I, I don't know what it is, man. He's got this like this smug quality yeah. about him. And oh, you yeah. know what? And, and you know what he reminds me of? And this is exactly this is exactly it. He looks like the kind of guy that would take a girl out, date rape her, whoa, come back the next day and tell her father what a great time they had together. That's yeah. Donnie's opinion, and it doesn't reflect that of WNUR. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it is my personal opinion on Cam Newton and yeah. his stupid smile. Yeah, he is. He is pretty smug. Um, but, I mean, he won't be playing this Sunday when they take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are 2-12. Oh, man. They might uh, win. But, yeah, will anyone notice, though? I mean, they could probably go without a quarterback Who's his and backup still beat quarterback? the Bucs. Uh, uh, Derek Anderson? He's been that guy, that guy's fans. still playing? <laughs> yeah, he was, he's been around since I was in diapers. So, like, it's not, two years ago? Not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this morning? <laughs> You know, incontinence is a problem. Well, so, anyway, <laughs> did he have any more quotes, or was that it? He, that he was, was it. I just, you know, this whole giving, uh, giving, ah, what's the word? Praise. Props to God. Praise, you know? yeah, praise yeah. would be a good word. It's just, I guess he was just all smiles, like somebody should have died, and they didn't because God saved us. I almost hit the dumb button there. What? Because I thought you said something else. No, <laughs> I'm clean. I'm an angel, remember? <laughs> You're the angel. Hey, job death. None of that funky foul language. Well, anyway, the only That's thing it. I know is about the NFL is that the Packers and the Cardinals are probably going to take the one two seed in the NFC. Ugh. And uh, yeah. I, and, I, and I will watch that. I, I mean, I gave up on the NFL this year, but if the Packers make a run, I'll, I'll tune in for that. Why? Because I, I am a Green Bay Packers fan. Why? Because it's I, because of Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly why. Like, that's Honestly, the only though, explanation. He has. Oh, uh, my brother was actually recently up there uh, in Green Bay, and he told me right when they, uh, right when you go into the area where the station, the, the, the stadium is, there's a huge sign and it says, "Our dicks don't get cold." And I oh, thought it was yeah, D I X. Get it? Yeah. Mm, but don't ching. Ching. Yeah. <laughs> D I X. By the way. Yes. D I X. Yes. Yes. No dump button. No <laughs> dumping. Don't dump that. Too late. I already pressed it. Really? What? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, you you little sneak. Don't don't vilify the guy's name. 